today's booming decorative concrete surfacing industry, contractors, architects, and builders the world over are taking advantage of this vast market and profit potential. It becomes increasingly important then to choose a company that can provide not only a complete line of formula balanced state-of-the-art materials and tools, but that also has manufacturing facilities based in critical locations across the country to avoid long time delays and high shipping costs for urgent product requirements. Who do they turn to? SGM, of course. For over two decades, Southern Grouts and Mortars has specialized in the development and production of premium quality, maintenance-free materials for the tile and building industries. From a single plant in Pompano Beach, Florida, SGM now boasts three major facilities, Pompano Beach, Dallas, Texas, and Corona, California, with more than 400 distribution points across the country. The new South Crete Spray Deck System provides unbelievable flexibility for your job applications. Indoors, outdoors, vertical, horizontal, new construction, existing slabs, the possibilities are endless. Incidentally, this quality system is insensitive to radical temperatures and has been successfully installed in various temperature zones throughout the world. But beautiful applications like these just aren't possible without the proper know-how. The purpose of this video is to show you proper installation techniques that will result in beautiful, sparkling jobs that will complement surrounding decor and turn a dull, stained driveway, pool deck, patio, or walkway into a work of art. Commercial applications also present a very lucrative market. Let me give you an example. South Crete Spray Deck was the system of choice for the pool deck renovation of the beautiful Hampton Inn in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. The existing deck shows an abundance of pockmarks, some large enough to present a real hazard to barefoot bathers, particularly children, and staining is evident throughout the deck area. We've established a workstation just outside a pool entrance, and all of the mixing of materials will be done here. While this job gets underway, let's visit a pool home where we'll be doing a complete step-by-step -step installation of one of the many South Crete Spray Deck template systems. From the condition of the deck, we've got quite a job ahead of us. The cool deck surface is badly stained and a couple of cracks are in evidence. Before we begin, we first establish a workstation adjacent to the job where we'll place all the materials and equipment we'll be using for the application. This allows us to keep the area clean during the entire installation process. You'll note we're spraying water under the mat to prevent the grass from discoloring. The secret of successful installation of any spray or overlay installation is proper surface preparation. What we're doing from this point on will encompass every step of the right way to go through the installation process. Since two cracks in the deck were noted, we'll address these first. Here, we're routing out the cracks in preparation for use of the South Crete 1100 crack suppression system. To minimize the chances of reappearance of the cracks, we're cutting a control line near each crack in an attempt to relieve the stress that was the initial cause of the cracking. Prior to the acid wash, we're using a hydro scrub, which attaches to most pressure washers. This removes surface contamination in an even manner, covering approximately two feet of surface with each pass. For the acid wash, we're using a solution of four parts water to one part acid, remembering always to add the acid to the water, not the reverse. Now we apply this solution with a perforated plastic pail. A plastic sprinkling can may also be used. As the solution effervesces, we spread it evenly around the area with a stiff bristled broom. At this point, we pressure clean again in order to remove the residue caused by the acid-concrete reaction. 
Is the surface neutral now? We'll perform a pH test to make sure. On the damp concrete surface, we apply a strip of litmus paper and wet it down with distilled water. We use the color wheel to determine the pH, and here we find the color to be well within the acceptable range. In the event the pH is still in the acidic range, we recommend flushing the surface with a mild solution of baking soda and water, rinsing once again with the pressure washer. Having allowed the surface to dry, it's time to mask all adjacent areas to protect against possible overspray, which could occur during the spray deck application. While this is being done, we'll return to the cracks which we routed out earlier and continue the application of the crack suppression material. We're applying the activator as a primer to ensure proper adhesion of the polymer acrylic emulsion. This mastic material is then applied and covered with a nylon mesh, the purpose of which is to provide a flexible bridge over the crack. The mesh is embedded in the material and allowed to set. The material having set, we'll return to the work area to mix the base coat following the instructions in the reference manual. The base coat supplies the color for the grout lines, so we'll tint it accordingly. In this instance, we're applying the base coat with a trowel to a depth of approximately 1 16th of an inch. A squeegee may also be utilized for this purpose. To start, we're doing what we call a dry run, pre-placing the template in order to determine the size of the required border, since we want the border to be as even as possible around the area where it's to be applied. Now that the border size has been established, we'll mask off the border area. That completed, we'll go to the workstation and mix the chosen color for the field. Although we're employing the Southcrete tint on site process, remember that pre-colored bag mix is also available. Exact measurement of material components is essential to ensure color uniformity. Now that our mixing has been completed, we're ready to spray over our pattern templates. After loading our hopper sprayer, we'll shoot a brief spray into our bucket of material to test our spray consistency. Everything looks fine, so now we're ready to spray. Remember to shoot at a 90 degree angle, directly perpendicular to the surface, to avoid contamination of the grout lines. The templates are sprayed one at a time, then removed, picking up each side, then lifting the template straight up from the middle. The template is now walked down a previously masked runway to the wash area where it will be washed free of material and returned to the network. When the material has set to the extent that it may be walked upon in stocking feet without any surface damage, we remove the masking paper we previously applied to the borders and, in turn, mask off the field so that it's protected from overspray of the contrasting border color. Once all masking paper has been removed, the deck must be swept and all remaining debris removed by a blower. At this point, South Creek High Gloss Clear Sealer is rolled on using a three-quarter inch phenolic core roller cover, taking care to avoid any puddling. Around the edges, we're cutting in with a brush. The entire area is sealed now, and our South Creek Pattern Template System installation is complete. Sales of jobs of this type are made considerably easier by utilizing South Crete Spray Deck's exclusive marketing package, which includes a sales portfolio, video, brochures, color fan deck, and cards, all packaged together to provide a hard-hitting, effective sales tool geared to help you close that important sale. Let's return now to the Hampton Inn, where renovation of the pool deck incorporates a different process a knockdown instead of the bubble texture we employed on the previous job. Our workstation has been established here, the surface preparation done, and our base coat has already been applied. At the pool entrances, 
we're applying a brick stencil pattern in the same manner as we did on the previous job. On the pool coping, we have to reapply the depth markings, so we're masking the adjacent areas preparatory to spraying. The stencils are being applied. Then we'll spray over them. As the material is being sprayed, the trowel man follows with the knockdown process. Each stencil is carefully removed and discarded. Now we're starting to spray the field. Again, the trowel man follows closely behind the sprayer, knocking the material down while it's at the correct state of consistency. Notice that the trowel man is wearing golf shoes, an absolute necessity to keep from damaging the freshly sprayed surface. When the entire area is sprayed and allowed to thoroughly dry, and all scraping, sweeping, and blowing has been completed, we need to apply South Creek Color Guard Pigmented Stain Sealer, which not only imparts the desired color, but also seals the surface, making it impervious to grease and oil stains, pool chemicals, and other contaminants. We're back at the work area now to box the South Creek Color Guard Plus. This is always recommended to assure total color uniformity. After the pail is opened, a painter's paddle is used to blend any pigment that may have settled during storage. Now we're applying a painter's screen to a clean five-gallon pail and pouring the agitated Color Guard Plus through the screen and into the pail, standard operating procedure in the paint industry. This particular application requires more than one five-gallon pail, so we're blending the individual containers to ensure color integrity. Now we're ready to roll on the pre-pigmented Color Guard Plus in the popular Kahlua cream color. Let's start by rolling a bead near the edge and cutting in with a brush. Now we'll continue to roll out the entire area, completing the Hampton Inn project. Let's have a look at the results of our efforts. Now that you've seen how simple the South Creek Spray Deck system really is to install, it's time to come on board and schedule your own quality installations. With unlimited colors and patterns, you'll have the ability to accommodate any job requirement, large or small, residential or commercial. Technical problems during an installation? Call our technical support line and a trained technician is available to assist you. Call, write, or fax SGM today for additional information on our total product line.